There was a mild drama on the floor of the Senate as President of the Senate, Senator Ahmed Lawan, read the formal request from President Muhammad Bukhari to confirm 11 nominees as judges of the Federal High Court of the Federal Capital Territory in Abuja. The request, which was contained in a letter and read on the floor of the Senate during plenary by the President, received stiff opposition from the Senator representing FCT, Senator Philip Aduda. The Senate Minority Whip objected to the absence of a nominee from the FCT, citing Order 43 of the Senate Standing Rules. However, the Chairman of the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Senator Opeyemi Bamidele, tried to douse the tension, claiming that the FCT already has judges on the bench of the FCT High Court. Confirmation of appointment of 11 judges of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, in accordance to Section 256, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended, I have the honor to forward for confirmation by the Senate the underlisted names of 11 nominees as judges of the High Court of the FCT, Abuja. Copies of their CVs are attached herewith. One. Abu Bakar Husseini Musa Adama State. Two, Edward Okpe Benue State. Three, Babashani Abu Bakar Borno State. What is being done by the National Judicial Council at the moment is to fill existing vacancies on the bench of the FCT judiciary. What will become an issue is if you take a list of almost all the over 40 judges of FCT and any particular state is missing, that's when it becomes an issue. And a major criterion at this point is to ensure that states who do not have anybody on the bench are given priority. We just received a communication from Mr. President talking about 11 high court judges for the FCT High Court. And Mr. President, none, none is from FCT. We are not saying that there should be no appointments as it relates to federal character and everybody being represented and every state of Nigeria being represented in the FCT. But Mr. President, what we are saying as the State Assembly for the FCT, we should continue to ask some of these few questions that those who are saddled with this responsibility, if they are doing something 11, for everybody, just one, just one will have been okay for the FCT because they are going to sit here and they are going to work for the people of the FCT, but unfortunately,